The number one reason for playing a video game is because it's fun. The secondary most important reason for playing a video game is that you can do something that you can't do in real life. This could be ranging from things that are physically impossible to do, things that just can't be done in this reality, to things that, well, we could do this in real life, but there would be horrible, horrible consequences. And it's a fact that you're able to do these things and not actually hurt anyone. And I mean, just horrible things, but it's just, it's, it's fiction. That's what ends up being the big draw to it. Hey, I can do a bunch of things and, and have no consequence. I can essentially be a god in this game and have no consequences. That's fun. It is. And in that element, in that aspect, the more realistic the game, the more realistic the AI is, the more satisfying it can be to do some of these things in the game that you would you, you you probably wouldn't be alive if you were to do in real life so when people come along and judge these games based off of the fact that the primary things you do in the game are things you wouldn't want to do in real life uh that starts to get into judging someone for their own thoughts. And that's pretty messed up. Now, having said that, I do understand people making critiques of things that are in video games. To state that that's a reason to play or a reason not to play, though, does sound very much like what religion does. The same way that religion will judge a game. And when we see people saying, don't play that game because that God frowns on that, that type of attitude, they don't say it that way, but that's basically what they end up saying. God frowns on that. You know, we just laugh it off. So why don't we do the same thing with others that, that, are, that are doing this? I mean, really, it, let's, the more extreme that these, these viewpoints of certain people that I'm not going to mention their name... Uh, you know who I'm talking about, um, you know, uh, has the initials A.S., right? Um, and many others like her. The more that their message gets out there, the more money any company makes if they go against that narrative. So, I mean... Unless there's something being shoved forth to make these kind of games illegal, this is nothing more than the same crap that these religious people shove forth. Oh, don't play these games because God wouldn't approve. Um, it, laugh it off. It's understandable why people are concerned, but let's not give these people the power that they want to have. <laughs> 